guys, long time no see. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'd like to start off the year with my new products I got in America. I stayed in Tampa, Florida for about 8 days and I did some online shopping but also at Sephora and Macy's. So um, let's get started. So first off I got some products from Makeup Geek. Um, they do ship to Holland but the shipping price is pretty high to ship to Holland so I just got mine. Um, I really wanted to get some more foiled eyeshadows but also the duochrome eyeshadows so I ordered five eyeshadows and um, I'm just going to show you them and maybe put them into a palette so I'm getting my palette real quick I got my palette real quick this is just a Z palette designed by Makeup Geek um, I already have some eyeshadows in here but I'm just going to take these out and put them in here. First up, I got another foiled eyeshadow and this is the shade Pegasus. So this is what the color looks like. It's a really nice blue um, shade. And I'm just going to put it into my Z palette eyeshadow row. And I think I'm just going to place it next to the purple one. So this is what it looks like, it's a really nice bluish color and this is just a swatch and you prob probably see why I really wanted to get more foiled eyeshadows. So I got another uh, foil eyeshadow and this is the shade Flamethrower, let me get it out. And I really wanted to get this one last time but I didn't and I'm not sure why but it just looks really nice like this. It's a really nice coppery brown shimmery shade. I think I'm going to place it next to that one. So now it just looks like this. So this is the row of foiled eyeshadows. So I also got a normal eyeshadow and this is the color Cupcake. And I believe this one was in the sale. It's a really nice like taupe pinkish kind of color and it's just a matte eyeshadow and as I said I really really wanted to get the um, duochrome eyeshadows so I got first I got this one this is the color Mai Tai and it's just a really nice pinkish kind of shade and it has a bit of a greenish pink and greenish tint to it and let me swatch it for you so this is the swatch and I'm just going to place that in the corner got is a ritzy and it just looks like this so this is what my palette looks like right now Next up I went to Macy's and did a little bit of a Anastasia stock up. So I got the Brow Wiz, it's my absolute favorite. Um, last time I got the medium brown, but this time I got the soft brown because it's a little bit more softer. And it just looks like this, you probably can't see it on camera but it looks really nice. And <clears throat> I decided to take the soft brown instead of the medium brown because probably I'm going to change up my hair again and maybe to a little bit of a lighter color and I also stocked up on my um, um, powder duo and um, I already got mine for about two maybe three years because I still got the old packaging this is the new packaging and I got the auburn I think because the time I got it my hair was um, a dark red kind of color so that's why I got the auburn and it's still like like one third full so I still can use it but I also got this one in the soft brown because I wanted to match the um, brow pencil so I got a new one and I love the new packaging so at Macy's I also got the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. 
in the color melted sugar I think it is sugar yes looks like this um, I always see Nick tutorials use this so and she has like almost the same complexion as I do so she says it's her favorite favorite kind of lipstick and she loves the color so that is why I wanted to get it um, I'm really looking forward to trying these because yeah in Holland we can we do not have two face I also got a little sample at um, Macy's from Too Faced and this is the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Deep Medium Deep Matte Bronzer it just looks like this there is a little bronzer which I think goes a really really long way so I'm really glad I got this little um, sample oh and it smells nice it smells like chocolate. I didn't notice the scent before, but I noticed it now, so it really, really smells like chocolate. Let me see. Right. Sample, which is um, some of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions. And this is the original Eden Minor Skin and Anti Aging. And these are just some samples. And I also got a sample for the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, but I'm not sure where I left the sample. Macy's, I also bought the Anastasia um, Self Made Palette. I really, really wanted to get um, four or maybe some more uh, loose eyeshadows because because they had a, um, what was it, 4 for 40 I think, with a free palette. But this palette costs... Um, $35 so I thought this is cheaper and I get way more so that is why I got the self-made palette and I also bought one for Elena so this is what the palette looks like it has a really nice like fabric -y finish and a shiny um, logo and this is what the palette looks like open it comes with a really nice brush with the um, let me see this is like a dual fiber kind of pencil brush and a smudger kind of crease brush. So these are all the colors in the palette. Um, I'm, I really, really want to get the pink champagne, which is on top here, but it was sold out. So I thought, let's get this one. I will definitely make a look on YouTube with this one. Then I went to Sephora and I got some little things. I actually wanted to get a lot of Get From D products, but most of the products were sold out because it was before Christmas, so I had bad luck, but I managed to get some stuff. First up, I got the Cat From D Tattoo Liner. I really, really wanted to get this one and I got the last one, so I got lucky on that. Um, this is what the liner looks like and I'm really, really looking forward to trying it. I really wanted to get the Becca um, Opal highlighter, I think it's, no, pearl, it is pearl, the really white one, but they didn't have it, and then I wanted to get the Trio, but it was sold out, so I got the Becca um, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop highlighter, which I do really, really love, but I think I would love the pearl more because it's that light. So this is the highlighter, and this is what it looks like. Let me get this off. So it does look really, really, really nice and shimmery. And I'm looking forward to trying this one. When I was waiting in line, I saw the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm not sure if this is a full size or a like travel size. It's um, one fluid ounce or one, uh, 30 milliliters. So I'm not sure. If you know, please leave it in the comments down below. And I always use the MAC Fix Plus, but I just saw this one and I really wanted to try something else. And I already use it in America and it made my makeup stay on all day even though it was really, really hot and humid. So I think this one is really nice, but I think it's a little bit expensive for like the size. So I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase this one. Oh, I found the little sample. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Weightless. Oh, it's the concealer. It's the concealer. Yes, it's the concealer sample. 
So I got a light, medium and dark um, sample. So really random at the Walmart I got just a US lip balm and this is the black nectar scent. The makeup thing I got is from Colourpop because in Holland we cannot get our hands on Colourpop. So when I was there I ordered some products and Elena also ordered some products and another friend of mine ordered a lot of products. So. I got a really, really, really big load of Colourpop, but I just only got a few products because I already spent way too much on other products. First got the little, um, I believe this is the Kitty, yes, this is the Colourpop Kitty um, Liquid Lipsticks um, Minis, and um, these are all new shades. So this is the size of the little liquid lipsticks. And I do have a full-size liquid lipstick, so I'm going to compare it to that one. The shade in here is a Times Square, and I'm wearing that one right now. And it's a really nice kind of a nudish color. Then I have Bianca, which is a more kind of pinky nude compared to that one. Then we have the color Be Merry. Then we have the color Glitter, which is a really nice kind of really plummy... Um, purple color and lastly we have the color last dancer which I can't really describe it's a little bit more brownish and sometimes it looks a little bit red but it's not it's like a kind of brick it's a brick kind of color so let me move on to the full-size ultra matte liquid lipsticks um, I first got the color clueless this is the small one from the kitty and this is a full size so as you can see they are a lot smaller this is a full size and this is the color clueless which again is a nude kind of shade trap which is again a nude kind of shade and this one is more to the neutral side compared to clueless so I got those two and I got another nude shade and it's the color Stingray, which is in collaboration with um, It's My Ray Ray. And I've been watching her for years now and I absolutely love her. So when I saw Colourpop was launching a line with her, I absolutely wanted to get this one. So this is Stingray and compared to the other ones, it's a lot on camera. It shows a lot darker, but in real life it's not. It's just a little bit darker and a little bit more brown. But I think this shade looks really, really nice on any kind of skin tone. So then I got a eyeshadow um, quad, I would say. And this is the Where is the Light from Kathleen Lights. And this is, she just released another um, series with Colourpop. And this is the older one. And this is what it looks like. They are just four um, single eyeshadows, so it's not really a quad, but they go together. So these are the four shades in here, and I'm just going to show you them. The color in here is called Glow, and it looks like this. This is the second lightest shadow, and this one is called Kathleen Lights. And it's a really nice golden kind of shade. Cornelius which is a matte kind of brownish beige kind of color lace which is a kind of like shimmery copper greenish I'm not sure how to describe it but it's a really nice color the last things I got from Colourpop are the um, cream gel colors which are like eyeliners, but you can also use them as a eyeshadow. If I got the color Swerve, which is just a jet black kind of color. And again, you can use these as a like gel liner or also on the lid. So this is Swerve. And I got the color Exit, which is a flat white color. Get Paid, which is a really, really nice kind of bronze, bronzy shade. And I'm looking forward to trying this as an eyeliner, but also just as a um, eyeshadow. So that is all the makeup related stuff. And I also got some um, clothing, so I'm just quickly going to show you guys. American Eagle, I got a really nice kind of sweater kind of thing. 
It has a hoodie to it, as you can probably see. It has a hoodie and it has a V kind of neckline, which cuts pretty uh, deep, so it can be worn a little bit more sexy, but also you can wear just a top underneath. And it's just a really nice kind of top, and it has a um, high front and a lower back, and just a little bit of a split on the sides. At Paxson, I got a really nice t-shirt, and it's inside out, so I need to get it right. Brandy Melville um, selection, I got a really nice shirt. I got a really nice shirt, and it's just a really nice flowy and stretchy soft material. And it has a pretty high neck, as you can see. Just short sleeves, and it's pretty, pretty long, as you can probably see. You could wear it as a dress, but I'm just going to wear it like this, and maybe wear it like a nice skinny jeans underneath it. So it's a little bit oversized, and it just fits really, really pretty. Then I also got this dress from the um, Kendall and Kylie selection and it looks like this looks a little bit strange now on camera let me fix that so it looks a little bit strange on camera probably but I will try to find a picture of it so this is just the front and it has a really nice kind of sexy um, lace up front and you can like lace it up all the way or you can leave it a little bit open and it just is a really nice flowy material. It has really nice sleeves with um, some strings on it. And it actually is a dress, but I like to wear it like um, on a really nice jeans or something. And at the Gap outlet, I just got a really nice basic Gap um, hoodie. And it just fits really nice. And the inside is a little bit more of a fleece kind of material so it's really really nice for the cold here in Holland and maybe it looks a little bit plain on camera but I'm sure this will look really nice on a like dark jeans and just some nice boots and lastly I just shopped a little bit at Victoria's Secret because once again we don't have it in Holland so I got two bras the first one looks like this it has a nice kind of leopard print and I don't always love leopard print, but I think this one is pretty cute and it has just black um, details and here some pink lace. And um, the material is really, really nice and stretchy as you can see. It fits really well and the material is really, really nice and comfy. So I really wanted to get this one. And I also saw this one. And I absolutely love like lace up bras. But underneath a tight shirt, you can always see the lace. So the lace is printed on a like t-shirt kind of bra. This is lace, but this is just printed on a smooth kind of surface. Fits really, really beautiful. And um, the material is nice too. But because this is lace, it's a little bit more tight than the other one. So I couldn't decide which one I should get, so I got both. And then at the checkout, I got like $40 off. So I got a nice little discount and that is the last thing I got in America, I think. Mm, I think so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please leave in the comments down below um, what is your favorite product from my shop vlog. Also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos with all the products I just bought. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.